Hello. In this video, I train an AI to detect military vehicles on drone imagery in Armor 3. This can be used for recon purposes like counting an enemy force's logistics, warn about enemy movements, or preventing ambushes. I mean, at least when it works correctly. Welcome to detecting military vehicles with AI. Now question is, how do you detect a vehicle in an image? Here we'll use a subfield of AI called Deep Learning. Deep Learning is all about training neural networks. Neural networks are mathematical functions with a lot of trainable parameters that convert numbers into new numbers. In our case, we'll convert images into free arrays, one per color, of numbers that will be used as inputs. And the outputs are the position and size of the bounding boxes around the vehicles, as well as the vehicle class. Using a dataset of the couple's image and label, we can train the neural network to tune its parameters to find a function that fits an image to a label well. To make this easier, we are going to use a specific type of neural network called convolutional neural networks. Instead of feeding each pixel of the image to the network one by one, the network looks at parts of the image from many filters that he trains to extract useful information. These CNNs can identify edges, shapes and textures on an image and use this extracted information to find a label. This makes CNNs extremely powerful tools with one simple drawback, the dataset. Training a CNN for a task generally requires generating and labeling by hand multiple thousands of images which takes time. Which is why, instead of training a CNN from scratch, we will use a pre-trained model for object detection called YOLO v5 and retrain it on our task. So now I have to create and label 300 military vehicle images to train this model. The plan is simple. Go to the Armor Free Eden editor spawn a CSAT military vehicle at a random location, spawn a NATO UAV operator, fly the drone at 100 meters altitude, try not getting shot down in the process, take a few pictures at every angle, label them online using this cool tool, and do the same process again like 40 times. After a full night without sleep, I have about 200 images of CSAT vehicles in Armor 3 but we still have a few issues left. I took precaution of taking images of vehicles in various environments to help the AI adapt to multiple backgrounds. Unfortunately, as soon as you add a civilian vehicle to the scene, this happens. That's because there is no other vehicle than the CSAT vehicles in the training dataset. The model has never seen a civilian vehicle before and considers it to be a CSAT vehicle. That's why I had to add 100 new pictures in the dataset with more complex scenery with infantry and civilian vehicles around, and sometimes camouflage vehicles. And here are the results. There are still a few issues with my approach. The scope of the project is quite small. Right now I only have three labeled vehicles captured on Stratus at noon with clear weather. The small scope already cost me two entire nights of my life without sleep to generate and label images and to train the model. Any deviation from these perfect conditions generally reduces accuracy. Another issue is detecting random objects as vehicles. This can easily be fixed by adding images to the training set with these objects so that the model can learn to differentiate between the object and the vehicles. The model also has a hard time detecting enemies that are partially hidden either by terrain or smoke. A good idea would be to give the model more information. For example, giving it thermal imagery could improve detection. As always, you can find this project on my GitHub in the link in the description. Have a good one. Bye.